Oh, well, hey guys, this one got the mail today. And eh, Bill, 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 Bill. Credit card offer, credit card offer. Baker Creek Seeds came in. I just ordered them last week and they're already here. I think it took four days to get here. Let's see what we got. Kind of forgot how exciting this was to get new seeds and get ready for spring, get my garden started, get my tomato plants uh, started up. But um, every year I like to try to try different varieties of tomatoes to see what does good around here because it's so hot and uh, just my dirt is like clay. I just like to see what does good around here and then when I find one that does decent I'll get it again. I do believe I have a Dr. Witchy again because it did really good but I have a bunch more, probably seven or eight more that I've never tried before that I'm going to try. And um, let's open up the envelope and I'll show you what they look like and uh, see what we got. All right, let's tear into this. Okay, I'm not going to show you how much I spent. It's too much. And the wind's blowing like crazy out here. Okay, the first one. Bosque Blue Bumblebees. That's a cherry tomato. It just looked really cool. Thought I'd give it a try. Two inch blue orbs. 75 days. Yada, yada, yada. Can't wait to try that. Looks awesome. Paul Robeson, I had to try these because I always heard about these and everybody loves them. And um, they're supposed to be pretty hardy, pretty de disease resistant, so maybe they'll do good around here. Russian variety, pretty cool. Blueberry, I apparently got several tomato cherries this, uh, cherry tomatoes this year to try. Deep red or shaded and elongated clusters. Plants yield all season. Hmm. Let's see how they do here once it hits about 95 degrees in June. Anyways, those look really good. Sart Relois. I really don't know how you pronounce that. This was a new variety. They just introduced it this year. And once again, I picked it because of the color. I just thought it looked really cool. Let's see. 85 to 90 days. That's a long maturing one. But uh, it's a big beefsteak variety. 24 ouncer. Should be pretty dang good. I cannot wait to try that. I hope I'm able to start these. And here's my free seed. Some butter crunch lettuce. I need to go ahead and plant that like right now. Of course, good old Dr. Witchies. These things are awesome. They grow like crazy here. They're huge. I had one that was over a pound last year, and they're just awesome. They perform great around here. Probably the best one I had as far, far as harvest. Still my favorite is the Black Beauty, but these made a lot, a lot of big ones. Mushroom basket tomato. I just thought this was cool because of the shape. It's really funky. Another Russian one. Apparently I'm liking Russian tomatoes also. And you'll also notice I tried a bunch of uh, red varieties this year. So we'll see how that one does. Solar Flare. I think I've actually seen these uh, whoops, seedlings in Walmart but I didn't buy none. Wasn't as interested in tomatoes as I am now. But these look really cool. Can't wait to try these. Brad Gates, six to 10 ounce meaty beef steak. Awesome. I thought these looked cool. There's some striped Roma tomatoes. Really awesome looking. 
Red plum, wavy orange stripes, perfect mid size beauty, meaty flesh, excellent flavor. Six to ten weeks, yada yada. Yep, we'll see how these guys do. Called a striped Roman. Now this is another interesting I wanted to try. It's called an orange peach. They say it is fuzzy like a peach. Light fuzzy skin, perfectly peachy color. Splendid sweet flavor. The orange peach, which we find even more peachy, was a chance cross. Pennsylvania farmer and heirloom expert James Weaver. So I'm very interested in trying these and seeing how they feel. And last but not least, the orange accordion. It looks like a lot like the mushroom one. It had some really cool pictures on the website and interesting shape. And I'm pretty fond of orange tomatoes. They got a real good flavor. They seem to do real good around here. This one, 80 days. This is another very long maturing one. But we'll see how they do. One more run through. We got the orange accordion, really cool. Orange peach, apparently I got a lot of orange this year. Striped Roman, another orange one. Solar flare, red and orange. Mushroom basket, old famous Dr. Witchy. I forgot to get seeds is why I bought these. I don't know why, but I took seeds from all my other tomatoes, the barred boar, the black beauty, all those guys, but I forgot to do this, my favorite tomato. Not sure how that happened. And the new variety, the Sart Relois. I don't have any idea how you pronounce that, but I can't wait to grow it. Blueberries, very excited about these cherry tomatoes. Paul Robeson, haven't ever tried them, but I've heard very much about them. And last but not least, the Blue Bumblebee. I think this was a new variety also, because there's a blue blueberry cream one that they had last year it looks like this I think this is new anyways we'll give these all a try once I get them started I'll make some update videos and get them planted in the ground thanks for watching we'll see y'all next time